hello guys welcome back to another tutorial in this tutorial i am going to show you how to create a personal website or a portfolio site by wordpress so let's get started so at first go to your wordpress admin panel and clean all your plugins and themes first you have to download the theme called ocnwp just click on add new and search the theme ocnwp then click on install and activate the theme after activating the theme you have to download two uh, two plugins first one is elementor just go to keyword and search for elementor and click on install now and activate it then you have to download another plugin called ocean extra install it and activate the theme so now go to your site you can see that our site has nothing and you have to make it a portfolio or personal website so for that go to all place all pages and now click on add new put your page name home page and then from page attributes select elementor full width then click on publish after publishing go to elementor and here you can see templates click on templates and you will see there is nothing you have to put these two template files i will give the link in the description to for this downloading these files you have to just import templates and put it here we will need this at the site editing Just choose the files and import on your shape templates. Remember it is on Elementor folder. So now go to your all pages and you have to edit the home page. Just click on edit. Then click with edit with Elementor. Now you can see the home page looks like this and and here is the elementor tab you can edit anything you can add anything on your page you can add text you can add image you can add a video so in this tutorial i am going to show you how to, how you can create the portfolio site easily by those templates i gave you on the link so you have to do a little work just click on the add template button And here you can see there is many uh, pre-installed, pre uh, pre-downloadable templates. You can download them or you can in my, insert them from my templates. So from my templates, insert the website. And we'll insert the footer later. First insert the website. And now you can see that our demo website is ready. You just have to edit your name, picture and your details so first we need to remove this header my blog and the tab blog title so for that we have to go to your site and go to customize
from here go to home page setting and you have to connect the template so select static page and select your page name home page now you can see that our demo page is showing here now you can edit the header click on top bar and just remove the enable top bar then you can see that place your content text is gone now the page title go to general settings then page title then from style select hidden now you can see the our page title has gone and it look much cleaner just click on publish now our basic work is done now here have to edit the site from elementor reload your elementor home page and first you need to edit your name just put on your name you can change your font from style then font family select any type of family you want i like my chroma so i have selected my chroma you can change the size of the font you can line you can change the line height from the other text you can line spacing you can change anything from here You can change the line width if you want or you can leave it just like that and you can add tagline here or you can add anything in this small text this text will show you show your identity what you are what you do so after that you have to change the background for that just click on edit section then go to style then you can see the background image just delete it and choose another image here from your desktop you, are, you you can choose any photo if you want just click and upload it and it's look much cleaner so after adding the background if you want your text to be stand out from the background you can edit your background you can make it make that you can change the lighting of the background from here just go to background overlay and select your suitable lighting so it looks okay i can also change the hover transition from hover tab now go to second step it's your personal photo you can put here anything any photo from here just click on this tab and go to style to change the background let it and choose the image you want to put here You can add a multiple image here. Uh, you can change the position from center to center. Or you can change also the background overlay. Just if you want. 
or you can leave it just like that so after that you can change the about me page just put about yourself here now change the background from this about me select a suitable image now you can see the see portfolio button here you can add links or you can add same portion of the page I will show you how to do that if you click on see portfolio you will go to the bottom of the page or any portion of the page you have selected you can add icons on this portfolio button so see here is the button You can change the button color also. To change the hover color, you can also change that to any color. I like this color, so I leave it like that. So after done with that portion, go to next step, first change the background, then you have to change the icons from here, you can add any icons from your, for your portfolio. You can add also link in here. You can put any website link or link from your same page or connect your portion from here. So after done with the step, go to next step. You can add your YouTube video from subscribe. You can edit your channel's name, put your channel name here. If someone clicks the link, they will go to your channel. Now edit the videos. Just copy the link from your channel. Paste it here. And you can see the video showing like this. Now edit another.
Okay, now change the background. You can duplicate the videos if you want, or you can put in, in any amount of videos in this section, or you can put just two sample videos here. looks okay so after that change the background so half portion is done now the other half In this photo section, you can add your Instagram account here. Just put your Instagram name, and from this button, you can edit the Instagram link. If someone want to see more photos of you, then they can click on Instagram button, then go to your page. So after that in this section change the background first now now instead of these four images you can add four different images reset the gallery add other images Select any suitable for MS. Or you can add more images if you want. It's for the image gallery. If you are a photographer, you have more images. You can add them. Now here is a problem. You can see the four image size is different. You have to fix that. To fix that you have to edit the image resolution from edit gallery go to select the image that are you want to edit from aspect ratio put 1920 and 180 then click on this crop icon and you will see the cropping position then select again the crop then it will be crop then save the button you will see it is cropped Click on the crop icon, crop it, then again click on the crop icon to apply the effect, then click on save. Now inside the gallery. Now you can see four images looking same size. Let's look okay. Now I will show you how to connect the paste portion. If you click C portfolio, 
then you will go to the targeted portion of this page just type the link hashtag then the portion of the page I will connect the films so I have to uh, type films now go to the films portion click on edit then advanced then CSS ID films you don't have to add hash here so after that click on portfolio then you will come to this frame portion you can add any portion of this page so you can add this portion also select films then content then link then hashtag films then you can edit dots of photography same process applies for all for web design also same process remember you have to put same text to connect the portion but you have to put hashtag on the buttons that will go that will show you the portion if you click this you will go to the destined portion so this look ok after that you can add a contact also if someone click on get a code then they will go to contact me so this post two portion left web design and contact now we have to edit this two also this is your portfolio images you can change it I have some web, web pages so I will upload these files and you can edit the site text also and choose your required icons from the icon pages I am showing you I am showing you the short possible way to edit this if you are doing the portfolio site you will need all the details of yourself or your profession just add anything if you, you want or delete anything from here you can add also link from your website is just click on the photos and see from content you, you can see the link portion put your link here this looks ok now now ok you, now you can change the background
so after that the final portion contact me click on edit change the background this looks ok now you have to add contact from here so for that we have to go back to the wordpress dashboard so first save the edited file click on update so you can see our edited pages look like this now you have to do some small work add the contact form go to exit to dashboard now you have to add another plugin called contact form 7 for elementor So here click on install and then activate it. And after that you have to download another template, another plugin contact form 7. click on install now then activate it now edit the contact forms if someone want to contact you you have to put your email here the, that's how they can contact you change the contact mail so you can read anything from here messages you can change the message text also Then click on save. And now you have to change. You have to edit the home page again. Go to pages and edit with Elementor. And you can see the void contact form 7 just drag and drop this and select the contact form you just edited and you can see the contact form look like this you can edit the background from the form just you have to load detail coding here or you can leave it less just like that to change the background of the contact form select the text area and then type background then type your desired color white you can add any color here So you can see the text background changed. You can put any color from here. Just type the color name.
you can change the button color also you just have to type the color name and it will be changed so after that you have to change the map and this text contact text also from the map click on this right button then type your location here you can see the map has changed now change the contact information Type your email. Add your phone number with your country code. Now click on update. So our site is almost done. But without header menus and footer. So we have to do that now. We have to add header menus and the footer. and you can add also with the personal logo from here for changing the header menu you have to go to your site then click on customize then go to menus Just click on create new menu then you, you can put your menu name main header tick on the main now you have to add the items we, we can add the page but we, we have to click on custom links from here type your link text and the portion of your page you want to see just hashtag then the portion name add one by one films then photography then web design Uh, add contact me and in the URL section hashtag contact click on add to menu you can add another one about about me add to menu now you can see the menu is added here now click on publish the all menus are showing here
and now you can also change the header logo just go to header menu then click on logo and select your logo or you can leave it just like that add your text there if you have a logo you can add, add it here see your logo is appearing you can make the header transparent so for making the header transparent you have to go to general then select style transparent then you can see the back white portion has gone and it has make it has been transparent you can also change the main menu text or main menu color just go to menus then select the color and it has been changed you can add any color from here Now you can see our site is almost done <laughs> without the footer page. For footer page, you have to add another page. First, go to your dashboard panel, then you can see the theme panel portion here. Click on theme panel, click on add new. Give the title footer. then post attributes elementor full width now click on edit with elementor now from the files go to my library just select my templates then personal footer insert it now you can see the footer is added we have to connect it to the to our home page first you edit the footer then i will show you how to connect it to the home page add your custom link from here all your social links change the youtube subscribe link then then change the facebook then change the instagram link After that click on update. Then go to your site, click on customize again. Now go to footer with widgets. and from here select template select your footer pages you just edited now you can see our footer is added and tick out the add container so that the footer will be full width you can change the footer color also Add, you can add your custom color here so after that click on publish
so you, you can hide the bottom footer text here just tick out the enable footer bottom and you can see our site is almost done click on published okay see our all links are working that's it for today hope you liked our video subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for next update